Hello everyone, this is Jessica from www.rememberj.blogspot.com I'm excited to be back doing some videos for you. Today I would like to encourage you to get your Simply Scored Borders Plate out of the closet or wherever you have it and go make a simple card that is going to touch many hearts. Okay. We're going to take or Simply Scored out. We're going to get a piece of 11 inches by four and a quarter. You're going to cut your cardstock and fold in half, so at five and a half. You're going to score that and fold. And then, since I want all my embossing on this side, what I'm going to do is that for sure I'm going to need to push my cardstock on this side of the card. So I'm going to put it under my stencil here exactly where I want it. So I will remove this for a second and I'll put it around. I want this to be the last one on this side. So I will put it around here. And I'll check that is fairly straight. I'll find a little piece of removable tape like the painter's tape. Okay, so we're going to put now our stencil on top. What I like to do is just to see these points here from this chevron, this zigzag, to see that they all look about the same. My cards don't have to be totally perfect, but I like for them to look about the same so that I know that I'm, I'm straight and vertical right there. So I'm going to take my stylus and I'm going to look for the little and the small end, not the big one, but the small end kind of runs through it much better. And I'm going to start on the top following my stencil as best I can. I am done. Let's take this out. Oopsie. I'm going to take my painter's tape off and gently take it off. Look how awesome that looks. You see? So precious. Now, you can do one of two things. You can get your Big Shot and we have the Edgelitz finishing touches and you can go ahead and just cut that and put my Big Shot place my acrylic and then I'm gonna cut both at the same time both layers I'll just put this here the best I can and I do like to use also the painter's tape on this it keeps it all in place I'm going to show you real quick how I finish off this card with that beautiful dress from the Framelits Dress Up. It's really cool, so I'm going to do it real quick so you can get a, a view. I'm going to put one of my Framelits dresses on top of the More and More, um, a piece of More and More DSP. I'm going to run it through the Big Shot real quick. Anyway, I have my little dress. I already cut this dress form. It's really sweet, and I'm going to put some... Adhesive on it. I'm going to position this where it should go. Mama. Yes, baby. There you go. And then what I did is that I took another piece of the more and more and I just cut it with my scissors. And I put it as a little belt. I turn it around and it went like this. Let's see. So that's not too complicated. I put a little bit of snail and I put it in the place where I, when I want it to go. There it goes. Pretty. And then I'm going to take one of these flowers from the flower trim. This flower trim is so gorgeous from Stamping Up. I really enjoy having it. I've been making cards with it. I'm going to cut one the best I can. I'm going to kind of round the edges a little so that I only have the flower. And I'm going to put a couple of glue dots in there. I'm going to put it on the side. My beautiful dress. There you have it. To end it, I'll put maybe a couple of dimensionals in the back. And I put it exactly where I want it to be. Most probably I should stamp first, but it's your choice. So there you have your 
beautiful card and we're gonna do that stamping in just a second. To finish my okay. card I'm just gonna take one of the friendly phrases stamp set. It says you are simply wonderful. I'll just do it a little different than the other one where I use sweet friend from you are loved. But in this case I'm gonna use the you are simply wonderful. A little bit of primrose petals ink. I'm gonna go right here under. Hopefully it looks real pretty. And it does. Don't you love this card? I think it's really simple, really, that embossing really gives a good punch to it. I hope you enjoy this. Go visit my blog at rememberj.blogspot.com. I would love to have you over. I've been posting a lot of little details, and I plan to keep doing more videos, so come back. Also, if you speak Spanish, go and check one, the one in Spanish, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you.